I'm really excited about this package that just showed up today. And it actually was dug up from its grave not that long ago, and it's one of the first Nike artifacts ever. So way back in 1972, Bill Bowerman, the former track coach at the University of Oregon, partnered up with Phil Knight, one of his runners, and they started Nike. They each pitched in $500, and with a handshake, they decided to revolutionize the running shoe industry. And they were all about innovation from the very beginning. One of the first Nike innovations ever was created by Bill Bowerman, and it's the Waffle Sole. In front of me, I have a waffle iron that was given out to 200 executives when Nike World Headquarters was opened up in 1990. There's only 200 of these. And this is symbolic of the first innovation where Bill Bowerman was actually pouring rubber and synthetic materials in here to create waffle soles that look just like this to put on the bottom of running shoes in the hopes that these shoes would grip the ground better. And it worked and it completely revolutionized running shoes and started Nike, which is all about innovation to this day, 41 years later. So let's get to the package. This box contains a pair of early waffle sample prototypes and it was dug up from Bill Bowerman's yard. Let me get to it. So about a week and a half ago, somebody reached out to me on the internet and they said, hey, I work for a power company in Oregon and we did some excavation work at Bill Bowerman's house years ago. And Bill was known for tinkering with shoes at home and he made a lot of waffles and crazy innovations at home. And he used to bury his trash and bury all sorts of things in the yard. Nike actually dug up the original waffle iron that started everything off in Bowerman's yard in 2011. This was dug up in 2010. We've got to get in here. He did a great job of packing it. So the guy was digging trees out that were touching the power lines and he discovered a shoe, just one shoe, not a pair, alongside a waffle iron. And he asked Bill Bowerman's son if it was okay if he kept the pair of shoes. And Bowerman's son said, sure, but don't ever tell anyone where you got these from. This guy found me because the shoeseum was on Pawn Stars and his neighbor and him reached out to me and said, hey, we've got this original sample waffle prototype from Bowerman's yard and you got to add it to your collection. So here it is. Let's get in here. I got to be really careful because it's probably super duper fragile. Come on over here and let's have a look. You can see the toe of the shoe or the heel rather peeking out the back right there. I mean, this is absolutely amazing. So the waffle iron was dug up in the yard and it was donated to Nike in exchange for a pole vault equipment and a pole vault setup at a local school. And here's the shoe that was next to that waffle iron. Holy moly. I can hear the angels singing. Check this thing out. Wow covered in dirt for over 40 years. Who knows how long actually. Let's have a look at those waffle nubs on the bottom. So irregular, unlike what waffles were actually looking like that came out of Nike. They were much more uniform than this. I mean, this is crazy. Wow. It's just the right shoe. I'm going to look inside here. I bet there's no writing at all. Yeah, there's absolutely no writing. Come in here and have a look. I mean, it's just completely covered in dirt and preserved for the ages. Wow, I can't tell you how excited I am to put this thing in glass and add it to the shoeseum. Wow.